In this tutorial, you will learn how to create 3D sections like these using V-Ray Next for Rhino. You'll also learn how to combine multiple section planes at the same time. And in case you'd like to see the full extended version of this tutorial, including the process of applying material setup, lighting setup, and creating custom 3D geometry cuts for your projects, you can watch that extended version on our Patreon page, where you will also get other extended tutorials with project files. Hey guys, Dushan here. Before we start, if this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel as we upload new tutorials each week on Rhino and Grasshopper and how to use these tools specifically for architecture. We're also working on the show called How to Rhino Podcast, where we talk with young architects who share their career stories so you guys can have a better idea of what are some of your options when you finish architectural school. I highly encourage you to check those out after you finish with this video. The links are in the description. All right, so the creation of the 3D section in Rhino and V-Ray is mostly done with the clipping plane. So when we create a clipping plane here, watch what happens. So I'm gonna create one clipping plane here, something like this. And if I if I rotate, you will see that it, it is showing me the plane that uh, it's actually cutting. So you can see that we have, uh, we have uh, now the base plan that is uh, that is being cut. If I, I uh, if I go to the properties here, you can see that I have the option of the clipping plane, and now it's telling me what is the the view that I'm that I'm using it in. If I untick this option, the clipping plane will disappear. So it will not be visible in the viewport. But if I click on it, it will be uh, cut. For for example, if you want to flip this, if you want to see uh, like the the uh, the opposite, if you want to see from the bottom up. All you need to do here is to say flip direction and it will now show you everything that's below it. So if I go like this, you can see that I'm, I'm, I'm flipping the direction of the cut. Uh, so that's, that's where this is done. Uh, the cool thing is that we can combine these. We can combine with multiple, uh, with multiple elements. So first I'm going to select this one and I'm going to go to V-Ray. And now here I have uh, an option of clipping plane. So what I want to do here right away is to rename it. So I'm going to rename it here and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it base cut, base cut one, for example. And that's going to be my, my, my plane here. However, if this guy is turned off here, uh, if we create the rendering, it will not show what this means. For example, if now I, 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 I press uh, render, you will see that the cut will not be present. So if I want to change that, I need to have this turned on here. And then when I pre uh, press render, you will see that now the cut will be visible. Here it is. So the cut is visible only if you have it turned on here. Uh, and if you have it here uh, in the viewport, it's only, uh, it's only about the viewport and how you want to see it. For example, if it's turned off here, but if it's turned on in V-Ray, it doesn't matter, it will always show up in V-Ray. So now if I go, render again, you will see that it will still be visible even though it is not visible in my in my viewport. So we have two kind of levels. You have this one in V-Ray that controls the rendering itself and we have this one here that controls the viewport and how the viewport is shown. Uh, that's uh, uh, tip number one. Uh, tip number two is that you can assign the cut material to it. What does this mean? Uh, if I zoom in here and if I press render you will see that uh, my my cut my cut here where, where the cut is present for for example for these walls if I zoom in here you can see that the cut is actually white and what if we want to change this material uh, uh, this is the option that uh, is is available here so if you have use object material it will always cut the same type of material but if we turn this to off and then you put some other material in this case we can put this red material that we created previously, then our cut will be uh, red, as you can see here. So now we have a red cut inside inside our uh, our model, which is pretty cool. Uh, this means that we can pretty much control here this red color, and the intensity of this color will be reflected uh, right here in the render. We can even change this color to let something something like this, and you can see that it will change in our uh, live live preview here. So let's bring it back to red, and let's uh, let's continue on. So now let's let's see if we can manipulate this and we can create a little bit uh, something more interesting. So for example, we have one uh, one cut here, 
And what if we want another one? So let's create another one. I'm gonna go to add clipping plane and let's simply draw it like this. Now let's select it. So I'm gonna select the clipping plane and let's flip it, let's say 90, like so. Uh, and now we have a new clipping plane. Uh, it's located here. And now let's rename it, let's call it section one. And let's create a third one, why not? So let's try with, the, with another one, like so. And uh, now we're gonna flip this one same way, 90. Uh, let's put it maybe like this, 90. And I'm going to put it maybe somewhere around here. This one will be, let's say, somewhere around here. And we're gonna keep this one as it is. Maybe we can move it so it doesn't catch the people in half, something like this, okay. And now what if we want to use all three of those and we want to use all different cuts. So let's just uh, rename the last one section two. And let's go to materials uh, and this red one that we have, let's duplicate it and let's uh, call it maybe blue. And uh, let's turn on the blue color here. And the last one, let's call it maybe um, green and let's choose the green color you guys feel free to choose whatever colors you want uh i'm just choosing here randomly some colors that are not gonna be like uh completely pinkish or something like this and uh now i'm simply going to go to my clipping planes uh and i'm gonna say section one will be uh let's say blue and section two will be uh green and we have the base cut, which is going to be red. And now let's see what happens. Let's turn this guy on, it's turned on, this one is turned on, and this one is turned on. And we can also turn them all on in the viewport so we can see what is the section cut that we're going to get. So this is something that we're going to get. Uh, and of course, you can, you know, you can uh, change this uh, in whatever way you want. This is just an example of, of how we can utilize all three sections. So now I'm gonna zoom in here and let's open up V-Ray and let's render out to see uh, what is the result that we're gonna get. All right, so here is the, the result. You can see that we're getting, uh, we're getting a very cool uh, effect where we have three kind of sections and uh, they're all having the a different type of, of color. So this is a cool way that you can present your, your diagrams and show off your work. In case you'd like to see the full extended version of this tutorial, including the process of applying material setup, lighting setup, and creating custom 3D geometry cuts for your projects, you can watch that extended version on our Patreon page, where you will also get other extended tutorials with project file. I'd like to thank all of our Patreons, thank you guys for the support. If you like what we do, please consider becoming Patreon yourself. And if you like a structured approach to learning Rhino Grasshopper, architecture presentation and rendering, you can apply for our Rhino for Architects 2.0 course, first link in the description. See you soon.